Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss different types of cyber crimes. Before we get into the types of cyber crimes, let me give you an overview what actually cyber crime is. It's an activity of using computers to perform illegal activities such as spreading viruses, online harassment, cyber bullying, performing unauthorized money transfer and so on. The world we are living in is moving towards digitization as technology progressing and more people depending on internet enabled services for everyday activities like storing credit card details and making online transactions cyber crimes are becoming more dangerous and causing some severe damage than ever before most cyber crimes are committed through the internet and some are executed using mobile phones via sms all right i hope you got the basic idea let's move on to its types credit or debit card fraud cyber criminals intercept card details and then misuse it over the internet this involves the unauthorized use of another person's credit or debit card information for the purpose of buying things or stealing money from it such kind of frauds are very common privacy violation people expose their personal information such as email addresses phone number date of birth and account details on social media cyber criminals use this information to get access to your accounts once they get in they are free to violate your privacy identity theft just as it sounds identity theft involves stealing personal information from somebody and impersonating that person cyber criminals attack individuals through phishing scams or break into corporate systems and steal databases of sensitive information such as credit card or social security numbers then the stolen information is sold on the dark web for fraudulent purposes electronic money laundering this involves the use of computers to launder money this is happening a lot nowadays particularly corrupt politicians are doing such kind of evil stuff they are stashing dirty money in overseas bank accounts atm fraud cyber criminals intercept atm card details such as account number and pin numbers these details are then used to withdraw money from the intercepted accounts dos or ddos attack dos attack occurs when cyber criminals make it impossible for legitimate user to access computer resources DDoS attack is used to make an online service unavailable by overwhelming it with traffic from multiple sources. If you want to know more about DDoS and DDoS, you can watch my older video. Link is in the description. Electronic funds transfer. This has become a serious issue in today's world. Cyber criminals are gaining unauthorized access to banks computers. and making illegal money transfers online drug trafficking cyber criminals are buying selling and transporting unlawful substances such as heroin cocaine marijuana or other illegal drugs using electronic medium social engineering cyber criminals find out whatever they can about you on the internet and then try to add you as a friend on social accounts then they make direct contact with you usually by phone call or email they want to gain your confidence by pretending as a friend or customer service agent so you will give them the secret information typically this would be a password or bank details sharing copyrighted files this is usually done by distributing copyright protected files such as ebooks music software etc cyber criminals get access to copyrighted files or maybe they steal it and then distribute for free or for money cyber stalking this kind of cyber crime involves online harassment where attacker sends plenty of online messages and emails typically cyber stalkers use social media websites and search engines to terrify a user usually cyber stalker 
knows his victim and makes the person feel uncomfortable spamming last one on the list sending unauthorized emails is a cyber crime these emails usually contain advertisements spamming occurs when someone receives uninvited commercial messages sent through email sms and mms spammers try to convince the receiver to buy a product or visit a web page where he can make purchases or they may try to trick him into disclosing bank account or credit card details all right so this was all about today's topic thanks for watching please subscribe see you in the next video